There are two things here that your camp has mentioned as reasons. Number one is that her life is threatened, and the second one is that her mental health is affected. Should the Senate just take your word for it? Dahil wala po kayong medical certificate na maibigay. Um, well, for one, um, that is the actual reason talaga why she cannot attend the hearing tomorrow. Um, number two, we tried all the avenues we tried ever since, even before the, I think, May, um, the, the, the second one, before she was issued a subpoena, we tried um, contacting and asking for medical certificates. Um, however, uh, we did not receive or parang hindi okay ang um, ang reception ng medical community because of the issue medyo high profile kasi um, si Mayor Guo so basically um, no one wanted to um, be involved in it except perhaps we... Senate President Cheese um, have we... has he actually made the offer to you guys na hindi lang yung nasa TV through a statement through an interview um, has he reached out to your camp and would your camp be willing or amenable to having the in-house Senate doctor take a look and maybe examine uh, Mayor Go. Uh, uh, for the offer, none. Um, with respect to, uh, with due respect to Senator Cheese, um, this is the first time that our team received or um, heard of that offer. And should it will be, uh, should it be given, talaga, um, we will check with Mayor Go. Because at the end of the day, it's her decision, naman talaga. As lawyers, we will just assist. We will just give her the options, the remedies provided by law. She decided I'm, to I'm appear. Sti I'm, I'm still a little bit confused, though. On what grounds is she skipping tomorrow's hearing? Uh, number one, um, because of actual threats. Actually, um, since day one, she, she's been receiving actual death threats um, considering, um, okay. considering the yeah. happenings. So even before um, drones were heard, drones were seen in her vicinity, in her area. So, and also we can see naman sa mga social media posts of the threats that we have or that, that she has. So that's the first um, argument or the first um, ground that we cited. And second is the trauma that she received talaga from the interviews or from the hours of grilling. So uh, on her part, hindi na niya kakayanin or hindi na daw niya kaya kung sakali man na um, she will be placed under the same pressure, under the same, um, well, hours of torture um, for that matter. Clarification lang, Attorney Hamilia, um, wala bang option na mag, uh, uh, to join in via Zoom or, uh, you know, via the internet, phone in, uh, kung security ang, ang concern? Well, uh, the subpoena that we received, um, the subpoena, I think, um, if I'm not mistaken, um, a personal, um, they require personal appearance from mayor. So um, that um, re uh, avenue was not, um, I think, given or um, he, he wala pa kami then, I think even before, wala rin kami experience na um, a resource person was allowed for that matter. Except, I, of course, no COVID time. So I, I think that was the only time that they allowed that. I am sure if you ask the Senate for a closed-door executive session, though, where she's willing to divulge all that she knows, I'm sure they would be amenable to that. Has that option been floated? Well, I think, um, if I'm not mistaken as well, Senator Wynn um, expressed his opinion on the matter, um, saying that um, Mayor Guo um, allegedly, allegedly is not qualified to... Um, uh, as the state witness, because no, 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 no. I, yeah. Sorry, yeah. attorney, attorney. I, I didn't mean that she would stand as a state witness. And you're correct. Senator Gachelian has said she does not qualify to become a state witness. What I'm asking is, did you consider uh, asking for an executive session closed door if you were so worried about her security? Right now, because we are not into that, considering that what really, um, what was really stated on the Senate hearing was her truth. So, contrary to the opinions, with due respect, then, um, yun talaga po yung kwento niya. So, yun po yung nabanggit niya. Yun yung sasabihin din naman talaga niya, regardless kung sa executive session ito or an open or a public hearing for that matter. Right. Attorney, uh, yung hearing bukas, scheduled for tomorrow, Wednesday, uh, pinapatawag din, no? sinapina rin ang mga kapatid ni Mayor Go. Mm -hmm. I think including her parents, but I think they are, or her alleged parents rather. But I think those two personalities are outside the Philippines. Some of the supposed siblings, I guess, 
Lucas, I'm just gonna say, supposed siblings ni Mirgo, pinapatawag din. Um, are they also your clients? Will they be showing up? Or is this, uh, everyone's just, are they gonna turn up? Uh, number one, um, I, we already filed. I, I mean, I think last Friday, um, one of the Senate representatives went to our office and they brought with them copies of the subpoenas for the supposed other family members of Mayor Guo. So we are very, um, we made a, a letter or a certification that we do not represent them. So actually, as we speak, I do not know them. I do not, um, I haven't talked to them. I have not seen any of them. So I cannot speak for them. Okay. Naman talaga. Okay. Uh, Mayor Go has been absent for weeks. Uh, she has not been seen in her farm. Is she still in the Philippines? And is there a possibility that uh, your camp's mind would change? Because uh, Senator Chis Escudero said that they might issue an arrest order. Uh, well, um, on the exact location of the mayor, I'm sorry, um, I'm bound by the lawyer client privilege. But what I can say is that at, at the end of the day, the decision is always hers. Um, the opinion or the, 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 the options or the remedies, we just provide them as lawyers. We give them the options and um, it's up to her. Naman talaga. So who knows? Malay natin, biglang magbago isip din niya tomorrow. Um, kasi I think it's uh, the, the hearing tomorrow is at 10 a.m. So um, we do not know. Because um, as we speak, we already gave them, or he, we already gave her um, the options that are available, and at the same time, the possible risks or the consequences. We already discussed that with them. Um, nakita or sinabi na namin sa kay mayor na um, ito yung mga possible. Na of course, um, in case nga na sa kaling hindi makapagcomply sa subpoena, we are aware that the Senate has the power to issue contempt order, and as as a consequence. Um, she might be um, or issued also a warrant of arrest. So um, he, we know, we don't know actually. Kung mali natin, tomorrow um, before the hearing, magbago din naman ang isip niya. Pero you've presented her kumbaga, with all the possible scenarios and her all her options also, of course, as yes. her legal team. Yes, yes. The um, one thing that's come to light, uh, between the first few Senate hearings to the most recent, the, the last one that, uh, I don't, actually she didn't attend the last one either, mm -hmm. but one thing that's come to light is that her fingerprints, uh, the fingerprints of Alice Liel, Liel Guo and Guo Hua Ping matched. And that's why the senators and the other lawmakers are convinced those two people are one and the same. Have you submitted any evidence to counter that? Actually, we did not. We do not have uh, copies of that. Um, so, number one, we do not have copies of that. Number two, we are not um, privy to any of those supposed um, investigation or um, um, conducting or of uh, or getting the fingerprints. So, we cannot really get any or we cannot really give any comment. Uh, number two, I think they already filed a petition um, for the cancellation yes. of the live birth of Mayor Guo. Uh, but I do not know or we do not know really if that evidence was used against her or if that, w if that was the, one of the basis uh, of, of the OSG in filing the petition. So right now, we cannot actually, um, it's all based on hearsay, it's all based on the um, media, it's all based on the conferences um, held by our good senators. Pero hindi, wala kami talaga officially nakita na document um, and wala din kami nakita na kahit anong um, report um, regarding that fingerprint. So we cannot say anything of, um, as, we, uh, as of today. You mean your team has not uh, been, been uh, um, contacted by Informed. the offices yes. of the good senators about this? Yes, yes. Um, Actually, uh, just to be clear, no, um, ma'am, um, the only, I think the only cases that are pending right now against the mayor is number one, the criminal and the administrative cases against her in her capacity as the mayor before the office of the ombudsman. And I think that was um, another issue because um, it tackles the issue ones of the business permit for Zoom New One technology for years 23, 2023 and 2024. So that is still pending before the office of the ombudsman. Number two case is the, um, the uh, I think the human trafficking case that was filed against her by the PAOC um, and the other um, 
government agencies, and that is still pending before the Department of Justice regarding the supposed, uh, I think, the connect, the alleged connection between the mayor and the um, uh, the uh, Hong Sheng and uh, the the Zun Yuan also. So. Um, that is the only official doc, uh, official cases um, that we received and that were filed against the mayor. And that is the only cases that we are answering right now. Okay. But, assu how, how but assume for a second that the... So, so you're saying that you haven't seen any of the documents linking her identity to Guo Hua Ping. Yes. And we're telling, yes. you, we're, telling you it's a, we're telling you that for a fact that the NBI has confirmed to us that... Mm -hmm. They have tested. They have matched her biometrics with mm -hmm. uh, to to that person named uh, Guo Hua Ping, who arrived in the country. Uh, was it July twelfth? Uh, that was her birthday. Oh no, sorry. Uh, I don't remember the year, but nevertheless, they they linked her identity mm -hmm. to that. So what then? If they uh, they have proof that the that the uh, Alice Guo Mayor Alice Guo's identity is uh, is not. She's not who she says she is, right? So your your answer to me earlier about the executive session is that she's going to answer all the same things, and it's her truth. But Yunga, since then, the authorities have proven that there's uh, she's lied. So so well, what's your recourse now? Yes, um, ma'am. At the end of the day, naman, um, it's all about the law. It's, it's all about the due process. So we will be answering those uh, allegations or those inquiries before the appropriate court or before the appropriate time. Right now, kasi it's not really proper for us to discuss or to comment on something that we do not see and we do not have. Um, I think um, the burden of proof is always with the accuser or with the with the plaintiff. So, um, if given the proper time and if given the proper forum, we will be we will answer definitely um, as long as the documents will be presented to us. Because you know, man, eh, um, as lawyers were. Uh, were were as uh, as lawyers were um, given or were were here for her um, for her uh, para ma check and to determine if indeed due process was served or if the constitutional rights of every person um, has been protected. So uh, at the end of the day, court sa court pa din talaga babagsak ito. Okay, and that's been also consistently what Attorney David has been telling us. Um, but uh, I, I'm assuming, Attorney Hamilia, na you are in touch with Mayor Costel. Uh, kamusta po siya? Like, just broadly speaking, without disclosing or giving up your privilege as her attorney, of course. Yes, yes. Um, well, she's down, I think. Um, that's, the cop, that's, the, um, that's the general observation that I can say. Um, I think she is really affected, um, especially of the of the criminal case that was filed against her. So after that, kasi duna medyo nagdare-derecho na siya. So I think um, the first criminal case, or I think the first case talaga that was filed is before the office of the ombudsman. He was, she got suspended, and then right after that, um, letters of authorities from the BIR were issued against her and against her companies. And then after that, um, the DOJ, or I mean the PAOC, filed as, uh, I think, a... Uh, um, a human trafficking case against her, and then just recently, uh, a petition for cancellation was filed against her. So, in a matter of month, a month, I think, um, in and out, yung cases na nafafal sa kanya. So, kami nga na lawyers stress na, so how much more si mayor talaga. So, yun, may time na, um, nasa stress, may time na nakikita namin na medyo uh, affected, yun naman. Not, not only medyo, pero affected talaga. But the good point is, um, she's trying, she's fighting naman. Alright, we do hope uh, for more communication from your camp as well as uh, uh, the different offices that have already uh, brought to light so many things about uh, Mayor Alice. Anything? No, I, just, I was just going to say that uh, as you just enumerated, attorney, the walls are closing in. All these government agencies are, uh, are after her. I just don't see how you're going to get out of this. Uh, you keep coming back to due process but in constitutional rights. But in, if she was proven, and she has been proven to be a foreigner, then she does not have constitutional rights, right? So I'm just, what is your recourse now? 
Um, um, well, uh, how do you how do you get out of this without cooperating with the Senate? Oh, well, with due respect, kasi yun nga, number one, ma'am, um, under the Constitution, every person has a right naman, um, oh, regardless every Filipino. of age, gender, every, nationality, ev so that Filipino, is ours. Attorney, every Filipino has constitutional rights. But yes, yes. the Senate and has right proven that she's a foreigner. Mm -hmm. And right now, as we speak, um, she is a Filipino citizen. Um, there is no law or there is no um, case filed against her and there is no decision yet from the court saying otherwise so that's what we are holding on right now um and then of course yun nga kasi um with due respect to our senators or dis extinguished senators um let the courts decide on this matter considering that these are all yun nga nasabi na natin cases were already filed against her so um proper courts or proper jurisdiction should follow already. So whatever the decision or whatever cases will be filed, um, I think Mayor Guo is ready to face that in the proper forum. Okay. <laughs> we will, continue, we will continue to follow the story. Thank you so much for your time tonight. Thank Attorney you, thank you, Paul. Nicole. Thank you, thank you. Is it Jamila or Hamila? Hamilia. 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 Hamilia, sorry. Attorney Nicole Hamilia, Legal Counsel for Mayor Alice Guo. Thank you so much.